Corn, or maize, is a major crop that occupies over 400 million acres of land worldwide, with about 35% produced in the U.S. Corn was domesticated for human use starting around 10,000 years ago, so it is adaptable to many different environments. Scientists are working to improve corn yields by studying how it grows. Today, corn provides our food, feed, fiber, and is a source of biofuel and other products for the world. Corn plants grow on average 7 to 10 feet tall with roughly 20 leaves. A single plant has male flowers at the top in the tassel and female flowers in the ear midway down the stalk. Pollen grains containing sperm cells are released from the tassel and land on the silks of the young ear. The sperm within a tube grown from the pollen grain find their way to fertilize eggs in the ear to produce seeds or edible kernels containing an embryo with its own store of food that could grow into a new corn plant. The leaf is the factory of photosynthesis, taking energy from sunlight to make sugars that feed the plant. A single corn leaf has an upper and lower skin layer called an epidermis, with pores called stomata that take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. In between the two epidermal layers are air spaces and mesothelial cells containing a tight layer of bundle sheath cells that help direct photosynthesis and surround the innermost veins. These interconnecting vascular cells make up the circulatory system that transports water and sugars throughout the plant. Within each mesothelial cell are light-gathering organelles called chloroplasts. Thylakoid compartments within chloroplasts are studded with protein complexes that contain chlorophyll, a pigment that absorbs red and blue light and reflects the green color that we associate with photosynthesis. Sunlight excites chlorophyll and associated proteins to convert water and carbon dioxide into sugars that can be burned as energy for plant growth or stored as starch, making maize a valuable crop for human use. These specialized photosynthetic cells begin to differentiate early in leaf development. Leaves grow by cell division and expansion. All of this growth starts in the command center of the plant, the shoot apical meristem, where a collection of stem cells divide and start to differentiate into a leaf or other organ. The meristem is only a tenth of a millimeter across. There, pluripotent stem cells exchange signals with their neighbors to control their growth Scientists are working to understand how this communication occurs because it may lead to improving the productivity of maize and other crops. Immature cells in a young leaf first grow by cell division, and then they expand and differentiate. At the base of the leaf, young cells get ready to divide by positioning the nucleus near the middle of the cell. Chromosomes containing DNA condense in the nucleus during the earliest stage of mitosis, called prophase. Then, the nuclear membrane dissolves and the chromosomes line up on a microtubule spindle during metaphase. The spindle helps to separate the chromosomes during anaphase. Finally, during telophase, the new nuclear membranes form and another microtubule structure called the phragmoplast helps to build a cell plate, which eventually becomes a wall separating two new daughter cells. Since the dawn of civilization, humans have domesticated and bred crops such as maize and their cultivation is the foundation of modern society. The challenge now is to improve crops to make agriculture more sustainable and resilient, and to feed the growing global population.